Hi, welcome to uh, another unplugged short video. In this session, we're going to do a brief tutorial on cloud monitored 9800s. My name is Al Dumdai with the Wireless COE. And on video that we've already posted, we've shown how to configure the controller into the dashboard to be able to start the cloud monitoring journey. In this video, we're going to see how to use that dashboard to monitor your 9800 wireless network. Let's start by taking a brief look at the overall structure of the Cloud Monitor 9800 network in the Meraki dashboard. So if we look at this, it's actually a combined dashboard. We have our traditional Meraki network components that are in uh, networks today. Uh, in, within our organization, of course, with Meraki, we have the higher level of organization and then the lower level of a uh, network. And then we have a Cloud Monitor network. The traditional Meraki network, of course, provides both management and visibility. The Cloud Monitored 9800 network will provide just visibility. Drilling down just a bit, we can see that within that visibility of our Cloud Monitored network, we'll be able to see components like the Wireslan controller, like the APs, and like the clients. We're actually going to see these reported all the way up to the organization level. So as we look at things like AP counts, it'll include our existing traditional Meraki networks as well as our cloud monitored 9800 AP. While this product is only in the EFT stage, you can see there's a considerable amount of visibility that's available today. We can see visibility about the Wireslink controller itself. We can see visibility into clients. AP usage, RF info, tag info on the APs themselves, and then even with the ability to drill down into the clients. Some of the client is, data is still not fully populated yet again early in the EFT process. Okay, so let's jump into the dashboard and see what this looks like. All right, this overall organization summary provides a lot of information, not just about my 9800 uh, network, but about all my networks. So you can see we have switches in here, we have WAN appliances in here, we have access points. And remember the access points are those access points that are in the traditional Meraki mode as well as the access points that are affiliated with my cloud monitor controller. All right, so now let's dig into this a little bit more. So we can go to the wireless tab. We're ready in cloud monitor controllers, but let's get the, so we're in that network, but let's get the list of wireless and controllers that's available here. We can see we have one 9800 controller available in this network. In that 9800 controller, we can see that, that we have five access points. All of our access points are online. Um, we can see that our the, the client count has been as many as four clients on this network uh, today, because as you can see the historical date is the last day. Currently, we have two clients on. We can also look at the port, the port with the amount of data that's being consumed by the ports over the last day, over the last week. Uh, and you know, these are kilobits per second or megabits per second. So these are these are rates, not not tonnage of data. And then, of course, we can see the overall um, the, each of the APs or AP list. It's important that we can filter this list by any of the metadata that we see here including others that are behind that gear icon on the right. So let's pick an AP and let's drill down into that a little bit. We're going to pick the Leo 9166 AP. Uh, and you can see right away we get information about the clients. We see information about the RF conditions like channel utilization uh, across the band uh, on the on the channel channel utilization we can see information about tags we can see information uh, about the, the channel bandwidths we can see information about the total usage we can see how long has uh, this AP been connected uh, has there been dropouts on the AP and then we can drill down into a client here right and so if we look at this client uh, we can see a little bit of information about the client itself we can see some of the usage for that client. We can see application data for that client. Now there's a whole lot of things on here that's still uh, kind of a work in progress, but there's a ton of information we will be able to get on the clients here, just like we did when we were in the Meraki dashboard with traditional Meraki access points. Now let's bounce back to the controllers again, and let's dig into the APs. 
Uh, and again, we're going to drill down on that Leo 9166 AP. There was one thing we didn't look at a moment ago, and that's the performance tab. So under the performance tab, we looked at the summary tab. Under the performance tab, we can see things like usage over time, clients over time, things about the RF conditions, the data rates. We can see that over time for each of these APs that we drill down into. Obviously, we always have the ability to see the AP location. Uh, we have the, the ability to see all the information about, it's kind of grayed out here, but AP IP addresses and MAC addresses and all that sort of stuff is, is in that. So there's a ton of information here that's available to us to be able to monitor our APs currently. Now, one other thing that I find particularly useful is this summary report of the organization we can see that it starts at the entire organization level. We can see a little bit of anomalies across our entire organization, but then we can drill down into a specific network. So for example, let's go down into a, a single network. That's our cloud monitor controller network. Now we can filter off of tags. So these might be blue APs. These might be certain locations. These may be your new ones that are just recently installed. Any way you want to tag these devices, we can now sort by that. In addition, we can turn on and off different functions or features in this dashboard, and then we can ex uh, export this into Excel. So this is really a nice tool for being able to holistically view your network. Now you might ask yourself, why would I want to monitor the controller from the cloud? Well, there's a number of different reasons. Maybe you don't, you, as we know, Prime is going into life. Maybe you don't want to make the transition to DNA Center. Maybe you want to begin your transition to the cloud, and this is a chance to do it. Maybe you want to use a hybrid network where you can use traditional Meraki and sort of traditional Catalyst with Meraki uh, cloud monitoring. And, and, and so, for example, we can see statistics on the controller natively, but it doesn't keep any history for us. By using the Cloud Monitor dashboard, we get all that history that goes way back in time, right? So the same retention that we get on our traditional Meraki APs, we get on the Catalyst APs and clients and so on, right? So this is a, a great way to be able to monitor, collect that data. You also get logs. We didn't look at that here, but you get all that rich logging information that you get with the traditional Meraki components. So Lots and lots of data here, lots and lots of visibility, chance to use hybrid networks. Um, and the great thing about cloud is you, you can see in the previous video, it's simple to add, it's simple to use. And it's just, this is an easy way to be able to begin to monitor your wireless controller. If you have a controller and it's being monitored by Catalyst Center today, great. If you don't have Catalyst Center to monitor your controller and Prime is going into life, here's a simple way to do that. And by the way, this only requires the DNA licensing that you would traditionally use with your Catalyst controller. So now you can give it a try. Reach out to your account team for more information on the cloud monitored controllers. And thank you for joining us for this short unplugged video session.